Hi, welcome to another edition of Outreach News. Matter of fact, radical outreach news. I am your correspondent, John Moore. A report in entitled An Urban Society with Many Cultures is shocking many in the church today. We know that the early Christian movement engaged in the cities of the Roman Empire, Christianity was an urban religious movement for three centuries. The Masonic movement grew initially in cities such as Jerusalem and Antioch, but Rome's persecution of the young faith scattered its disciples to other cities in the empire. Although most of the people of the ancient Corinth could speak enough Greek to engage in trade, they spoke in many different languages in their homes and represented many distinct cultures, such as Greeks, Italians, Jews, Egyptians, Syrians, etc. Significant numbers of people in the culture. Corinth, a major port city, and the capital of the province, Achaia, was a thriving center of government, finance, shipping, trade, transportation, and many small industries. And Corinth was often precarious for outlaws, vigilantes, and terrorists. Violence was the backup method for achieving the ends. We also know that in North America, it will soon look like the Corinthian continent. The U.S.'s population exceeds 280 million and is growing. The industrialization of the country, followed by revolutions in technology and transportation, has shifted the population well past 80% urban. The waves of immigration from Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Asia, and Latin America have transformed the nation into the most multicultural nation state on the earth. Now, let me share with you page two. We observe two other important parallels between ancient Corinth and the United States. First, the country is even more vulnerable to multiple threats of conflict and violence. And second, we observe an unprecedented harvest of open, receptive, searching people who are looking for life, often in all the wrong places. That is a special report on an urban society with many cultures. Stay tuned for additional updates from Outreach News.